Good evening, Angel Gang. This is your spiritual media correspondent, Midnight Maven, and this message is for Pisces. I already did a pre-shuffle here, and I got the Hawk. Do you see the Hawk right here? Beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful card. Um, let's read it together, shall we? Watchful, all-seeing messenger of divinity. The sharp eyes of the hawk watch our every move. The keen-eyed bird has the ability to see every little detail as well as the bigger picture. When this card appears, fate has its eyes on you and the winds are shifting. It is said that the hawk carries news upon its wings and is sent from divinity itself to deliver the message. And this message should not be taken lightly though. It may seem small or insignificant like this message. Pero it will eventually redirect your course. When uh, you're in balance, Pisces, when you have this hawk energy, when, you, when you're using it the correct way, you uh, see clearly and you're intuitive. So synchronicities, you think of something, it'll just happen, you know you're in the right place whenever that's happening. If you're too consumed with the small stuff, like I just did Leo's reading, and they got mouse, to where they were having mouse energy because, and I'm a Leo, so I can attest to that, to where I'm worried about, oh my God, is my hair did it come out perfectly or my eyebrows or this or that or insignificant shit that doesn't really matter. And I'm kind of screwing myself over by death by a thousand cuts, if you will. When in balance, sees clearly and intuitively. Um, when out of balance, sees too much and is suspicious. Sees too much and is suspicious. So you're letting too much of the channels come in because we know that Pisces, you're probably the most psychic mm, between you and Scorpio. You guys are the, probably the two most psychic or deep, deepest uh, signs out there. But when you don't know how to navigate and um, fine tune whenever you're getting a signal in, it could seem like you're getting um, 500 channels of this, that, and the other, like the Spice Channel, the Porn Channel, <laughs> something from India or Thailand. But so they're good Germany, you know, just uh, too many things. And we're like, oh, like we're like um, Professor X or, or, or Dr. Jean Grey, where you're just like, you know, try to like just repel everything after that. Uh, to bring into balance, perspective shift. <laughs> perspective shift is the hawk. It's an air, you know, obviously an air quality. And in this reading, I already did a, uh, a pre pool spread. And at the center of it was the Queen of Cups. And then we have the Eight of Swords, but that was in reverse. So let me just look, show you that. With all those, she's in a bubble and they're about to pop. So you know this time is up. Because Pisces, you're about to ready to bust out like nobody's business. And then at the bottom of the reading, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. And we have three queens, actually. That was at the bottom of the reading. This is the main of the re reading. And this is, was at the bottom of the deck, which was the queen of air. So queen of air, queen of water, queen of wands. So we have almost a full house. We just obviously need the queen of pentacles. Um, God, it's, it's glossy. Um, but yeah, I like this for you because it's kind of tapping into what you need to tap into because... Maybe you started being vigilant a couple months ago of uh, stuff a little bit more than you usually would. And with the Queen of Wands, it's telling you to step into your intuitive powers more. Your gusto, your zeal, your cajones, whether you're a man or a woman, your balls. <laughs> uh, and in the recent past, we have the Ten of uh, Pentacles. So we might have gotten married, we might have just moved in with a significant other, maybe it's a blended family, maybe it's just you and uh, you, you joining forces with somebody else or getting that big family thing that you've always wanted but yet there's something that doesn't taste right. And in the higher realms we have the Six of Swords. So I think it's this air, it's either this air character or what I'm thinking is the three queens that are in this deck are all three aspects of you, Pisces. The water, the fire, and the air. You just need the land, you need the uh, the pentacles. Uh, 
you already know how to feel it, you already know how to do it, you already know how to know it. You just need to know how to have it, to receive it. So maybe you're, it's, you find it difficult to receive things. You know what I mean? Like if you can't receive gifts or just know that that we, we think it's bad. Sometimes we feel guilty for receiving stuff. It is hot in here. Every time I do a reading, I start sweating my balls. Um, in the near future, we have the justice card. So fear never more. If you're watching this, most likely you're either shitting your pants because you know that it's coming for you, or most people, you're probably watching this going, God, when am I gonna get my just desserts? And it's coming up real fast because in the next card we have the eight of wands. Bam. And then the in how people see what your situation is, it's the end of this like little union, whether that be with a significant other, a family member, a way of life, a way of doing things, a job. It's just gonna come up uh, way better for you this time around. Your hopes and fears is the devil. Um, this could be a Capricorn or it could just be yourself and you're scared of your inner self because remember nobody's as evil as you think you really are on the inside you know what i mean um it'll make sense to the people <laughs> that it needs to i don't want to go much further with that one um and the end result is the four points so i think that's probably where maybe you'll meet the nurse sign taurus capricorn um virgo that'll help you with your business um acquisitions whether that be real estate, um, how to, you know, um, budget money for the house or keep an idea or something big. And I think this is something big. This is something big coming in, like divinely, divinely coming in. And you having this 360 scope from the bottom of the ocean to the top of the sky is going to be really good for you. You know what I mean? Really beneficial. Um, nine of wands nine of wands for a while yeah you've been isn't that perfect right there you see that peacock up there you might as well call it a hawk that's you down there trotting along protecting what it's yours and this guy is giving you that up here angle he's giving you that okay coast is clear so all we need to is just to stand our ground holding the space is the earth part of it and the seven of swords is in reverse so you see this guy trying to sell some goats or whatever, some goat's milk or some shit. He's no longer, he's going to be, he's going to be a non-factor because nobody's going to want to buy any of his shit and much less you. Um, let's get an Oracle of E. And also too, I was, you know what? As I was listening to Riptide, the, 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 the next song that came up was Wicked by, um, I know it's originally by Chris Isaac, but... It just gave me a really, it gave me a really um, cool like feeling of you're at the beach and she's down in the, this is you Pisces, down in the depths of the ocean, almost like a fucked up aerial. And this hawk is like Sebastian, or the, the toucan thing, or whatever the, I think it's a seagull. It's like a, it's like a real version of that. To where there's sex, lies, deceit, passion, redemption, justice. It's like this big old sexy movie montage I saw in my head of just being at the beach and the sun sets and the sun rises and sex and completion and fantasy and just satisfaction for you, Pisces, because you deserve it. You know what I mean? Because you've been on this long trek and we've been right here along with you and your efforts of everything that you give your energy your time your love your money your whatever has not gone unnoticed so for the oracle of e we have hotline isn't it nice to know that you isn't it nice to know that you don't have to do everything yourself you probably still don't believe that <laughs> to know that there are unseen forces just waiting for you to give the word Take a deep breath and know that whatever it is you need right now, guides and angels are lined up at your service, waiting to take your call. Waiting to take your call, standing by on the hotline. All you need to do is ask. Yep, it's that simple. 
all you need to do is motherfucking ask. I might change this word to, you used to call me on your cell phone, late night when you need my love, call me on your cell phone, oh man, ooh, okay, Riptide or that one, I should do like a poll. Not only do I work the poll, I should make a poll of which one. Let's get one more from Angels and Ancestors and then I'll have y'all out of here. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, okay, we'll take that. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves. As you reveal your innermost, innermost selves. God damn it, I cannot speak today. I want to like throw this table like. Oh, to each other. Your bond deepens. So maybe, you know, you go on a date and you can't speak like me and you're sweating and your, you know, your eyebrows are falling off. As long as there's that chemistry, chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So you might be coming on the up and up with a new relationship. I know I said one that was ending, but it could be just one that's one with yourself, one with a, a coworker, one with a business person or somebody new. But it's all about the chemistry. Just go with what feels right. But also mind your P's and Q's and keep things separate until it is safe. And calling upon the uh, the elders, the angels, ancestors, and ascendants to help cloak us in protection and to help guide us with their sight and to help fill us with their love. And to help let us be able to speak again because right now I cannot speak to save my mother freaking life. Love you, Pisces. I will catch you on the flip side or the riptide. And make sure to like, share, subscribe. Don't be a motherfucking hater. Bye.